How to get Microsoft Excel for free is the topic of today's video. If you're new to the Tutorial Tucker channel, please go and subscribe right now. I really do appreciate it. See more awesome coins like this and smash that like button. It's really appreciated and turn the notifications on so you're notified every time I drop a brand new video. This video is really, really good and it goes over some pretty awesome information which are not a lot of people know about, about using Excel for free. It's really helpful and I hope you find it useful and I also include an alternative in this video for if you don't want to use um. Excel. So yeah, let's jump straight into this video. Okay, everybody. So as you can see, we're now on the Microsoft Excel website or well, Microsoft website, I guess. And as you can see, buy now or try for free, which obviously isn't what we want to do because then you have to go and pay. We've got a complete bypass for this, which Microsoft literally promote. And it's a pretty known method, but I actually only recently found out. Um, some people know, some people don't. So I guess it isn't actually that known. But anyway, all you want to do is go and open a brand new Google tab, um, just like normal. And all you want to Google is Microsoft, simply Microsoft, uh, because the first step we need to do is go and create a Microsoft account. So let's go and click on Microsoft website, which is Microsoft.com. And all you come here is click sign in and then wait for it to load. And then you can go and click create no account, create one, or you can sign in. Basically, you need to make sure you've got an account for Microsoft. So click create one if you haven't got one and go and enter your an email you want to use. So say if you've already got your Gmail, you enter that there, or you can get a Hotmail account as well. At the same time, you click get, get, get a new email address. But yeah, I've already got an account, so I'm gonna go and sign in. Uh, I use a different email though. So there we go, I've got that there. So yeah, I'm gonna probably gonna log in, keep me signed in. And now it's just gonna sign in into our Microsoft account. And as you can see here, we're now here. So all you need to do is next up, you need to go back to a new Google tab. It's basically a lot easier to navigate using Google if I'm then having to go through all the Microsoft website. And then all you've got to do is do Microsoft Excel online. Uh, I'll just click it there, I did spell it wrong, my bad. And then as you can see here, free Microsoft Online, but it's the Microsoft website. Now, nobody really knows about this and it's completely free. And then as you can see, all you're gonna do is create, share, and collaborate for free with Office on the web app. Click sign in and we'll have to quickly sign in again. Um, so I'll use this and uh, we'll continue for it to wait. And now, as you can see here, we've got all of these documents. We can go and use, we can use Outlook, OneDrive, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, To Do, Calendar, Skype, so many. Now I do realize I've, thought, I've already made a video on Word, but I'm just gonna make a general um, video soon on how to get all of the Microsoft 365 for free because it's so unknown and it's so insane. So anyway, then what you wanna do is you go and click on Excel and you've got all of the normal the normal Microsoft sort of um, bits, I guess. You've got Welcome to Excel, Evergreen Calendar, Simple Service Invoice, Inventory List. So this has got like the pre-made, I guess, sort of like template so it can add stuff up for you. Uh, we can go to that in a minute. But anyway, um, we've got a new blank workbook. Now, I, I know this isn't for everyone having the online version, um, but I've got another online alternative. So I've, I just clicked on new template, by the way, and wait for it to load. As you can see, Burke is just loading. This will depend on your internet speed, um, obviously, as always. And here we go. So this is literally normally normal Excel. So let's go and do just some, I'll show you like the basics. So obviously here we can just type a number. So say if we've got in B22 and three, you can then go and make a formula. So then you can do something like equals, uh, you can do B2 plus C2. And then it'll add it up. So this is you know pretty much normal Excel. A lot of the features will work just like normal, like a normal Excel. It completely works. And obviously you've got the insert here. So you can create tables if you want a table. Uh, you just do that, and then it'll create the column because you have to draw. So if then I want a table, and it will do that, and boom. So really, really easy. You've got insert. So I'll cover these. You've got shapes. You know, literally just the standard thing. You've got columns, lines, pie charts bar charts, area charts, um, scatter graphs, and a hyperlink comment formulas. You, you've got a few formulas. I do believe some of the formulas are not in here. Um, I think it's because some of the, the features which have got more demanding like computer specs aren't beyond here because obviously it would just use so much server power. Uh, you've got review, uh, view, help, and design. So this is all the key features you're gonna need, but I believe anyway, you know, the, the normal person should need for um, Excel, obviously this doesn't always work. I've got another alternative which may have more features which you would be interested in, which I'll show in a minute. But yeah, I just wanna quickly run through this. So if you didn't know, basically you can you just tap on the box and you can type, so hello, um, stuff like that. It's so, so easy. And obviously you've got your columns here. You can rename this. So like um, if you're making say like a collection sheet, you can just do name, age, etc. depending on what you're trying to collect. So you could do like 
um, 20, etc. So yeah, you can literally just do anything you want with this. It's a really good program and it's really unknown. But what you can also do is we'll make sure you can, you know, you can upload and import stuff and save. So to do that, you just click on file and you can go and click save as, and then you can save a copy to OneDrive. Um, and then it will just, it will take a minute to load and it will load up your file. So I can just put it in my documents and then click save. And as you can see, then we can say like uh, test for YouTube, if I can spell, and then we just click save and then it's going to save as we can see, wait a minute. And then it's just going to change its name because obviously when you change a file, it updates its name just like you would be when you're on your computer. Um, obviously, it does have to reload and stuff just because it's online, uh, which is actually one of the only negatives, I guess, is that it's online. Um, but it makes it free and affordable for everyone. And then if you say you want to get it on your computer to go and email to somebody, which is absolutely insane because I know like a lot of, um, I guess it's more if you're like freelancing or just working for other companies uh you get sent um documents and you may not have the the software because you don't directly work for the the business so yeah you click the file and then you click save as and then you can just click download a copy so click on that and then it just downloads it and i don't know if i can open it up because i don't have a um i don't have excel on my computer but uh yeah you just download that and you can open it up and it's just a normal old excel um spreadsheet um whatever you want in it so i think this is insane but i have got another alternative which you may find useful so we're back on google once again and all i'm showing you it's a really really good um good alternative to microsoft um excel it's another online one but i think it's like somewhat a bit faster and it's just a bit different and it may have a feature which microsoft excel doesn't have so google sheets it's very very similar to excel so click on google sheets uh not 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 docs my bad Oh, I think it is Google Docs, sorry, my bad. <laughs> yep, so click on there and wait for it to load. And then it gives us all this list. So once again, you get all of the pre-made ones as well. So you can have a blank, you can have a to-do list. So if you're, you know, just a basic to-do list, which is useful, you then go and print out, for example, and your budgets, uh, monthly budget, 2020 calendar, 2019. And I believe you just click on here and there's so many more. So there's literally loads of um, pre-made templates. So financial statements, you've got wedding planners, schedules, all of that awesome stuff, which may come in useful. You know, you never know when you need this stuff. And I haven't, I don't know, we, we could quickly compare the um, the difference. So actually the templates are very similar overall. We've obviously got the schedules, we've got um, budgets. They're all very similar, but I guess, you know, you may, it's good to have them on both. Um, depending which you need obviously you've got more calculator stuff here which may be useful but all of this can be made pretty easily but yeah let's go and jump into this and i'll just show you how similar it is so all you're going to do is click blank and it will load us a blank template so i think the loading speeds are a little bit faster but overall there's not much of a difference and to, to name this you just type in here you can do test it's just stuff like that you don't have to do like file save as you know it is a bit more faster i guess it's got a bit of an easier ui but overall it's very very similar and yeah i'm completely unbiased by the way i personally use both and i recommend them both so let's get into this so quickly we can go and enter uh, a term like um equals um we'll do a quickly adding one i guess again so b1 we we'll put um one and for c we'll do seven and then you can quickly do another enter so click enter uh equals b1 plus c1 and then we've got eight obviously because it's added them up so yeah that is sort of the, the another alternative both are really really good and i recommend both they're really easy to use so this is just like an alternative if you personally don't like excel online so i thought i'd just mention that but yeah it's just like a lot of people don't know this alternative and i know at the minute a lot of people are at home um trying to work or try to do school and i know a lot of stuff's often sent like if you ever get schoolwork and you don't have excel at home because microsoft office can get expensive so it's a really good way to be able to access the microsoft um files for free online you can literally just drag them on and believe and you can do it using um sheets i'm pretty sure you can use the same files we can quickly test that so we do file um import i'll quickly test that now actually and then upload and we'll quickly upload the file uh it should be in here so that's it's just an Excel, the one we made before uploading. As you can see, create a new spreadsheet, import data, and we're importing a Excel spreadsheet if I didn't see that. As you can see, open now, and this is it. So yeah, you can literally import Excel into Google Sheets as well, which is super useful. So if you have schoolwork set for Excel, you can do it in Google Sheets, which is free, and obviously you can do it in Excel because it's an Excel file. So I hope you have found this useful, and also I forgot to mention you can import using Microsoft Excel as well. It's super, super easy. You can do it by putting it on your OneDrive, and yeah, that's super, super simple. But yeah, thanks for watching. Have an awesome day. Peace out.